Hey guys, Jafar here with another Rust Tutorials video, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the auto turret. The auto turret will protect your house all night and day for any intruders trying to break in and steal your loot. When detecting the intruders, the auto turret will fire bullets that you have put into the inventory of the turret. The auto turret can only be loaded up with 5.56 rifle ammo and will not work with high velocity, incendiary and explosive 5.56. Just plain normal 5.56 ammo. The auto turret's ingredients is one laptop, one CCTV camera and 75 high quality metal. You must also be level 18 to unlock the auto turret with the new XP system. Now with acquiring the one laptop and CCTV camera you must need to craft the auto turret. You cannot craft these items by learning them, you must find them in an airdrop and can also be acquired from attacking helicopters as well. But this will be much harder, I meaning you already need guns and people in your team to help shoot it down and a good base to protect yourself from the helicopter. Now once you have acquired your auto turret, do not place your auto turret down straight away. Most people will go and place their auto turret down in their loot room, which is a very bad idea. Unless you have a small base and an obvious loot room, you do not want to place your turret down in your loot room. If you've got a complex base with rooms all around and you're trying to trick them and where your loot is, once you stick that auto turret in your loot room, it's going to make a lot of sound. It makes a lot of mechanical sounds, movement sounds, and people are going to know where your loot is and they're going to go straight towards those sounds. So either make sure that you've got multiple turrets on the ready so you can place them around your base and they won't know where to go, or you've got a small base where it doesn't matter if they know where the loot is or not. There is a few options on the auto turret which you will need to use to actually get it working. One of the options is open, which will open the inventory of the auto turret. This is where you can put all the bullets in. The next option is enable and disable. This pretty much means turning on and off the auto turret. Once you place the auto turret down first, it will automatically be off. So you will need to enable the auto turret to actually turn it on. The next option is probably the most important for actually not dying. And this is the authorize and deauthorize option. This works exactly the same as the tool cupboard, meaning that you will need to authorize yourself on the auto turret so it does not kill you. The next option is clear authorization list. Let's say if someone breaks into your base and authorizes themselves on that auto turret, and you come back and you want to try and get rid of their authorization, this clear authorization will clear everyone on the list, including you, meaning you'll have to authorize again, but they will not be authorized. And the next option is a new option, the peacekeeper mode. This mode, when enabled, will only shoot the players with weapons or people that are causing trouble by shooting or attacking other players. This is useful for an open compound where you're not wanting to kill everyone or waste bullets on people, but you want to make sure the people with the weapons or the people killing other people are being shot, and that option is a great option to use then. But if you do plan to have the auto turret outside, do not expect the auto turret to be a sniper and shooting across the map. The auto turret has a short range of only 20 to 30 meters, and this comes to about 10 square foundation lengths in rust. So remember, when you're placing your auto turret down, don't have it in a position where people can stand just 10 foundations away and shoot it from there, and it can't do anything back. The auto turret has 750 health, and this means the auto turret can take two normal rockets, three high velocity rockets, five grenades, 188 normal 5.56 rounds, and 188 high velocity 5.56 rounds, and only 47 explosive 5.56 rounds. So you can figure out what you have the most of and what you are able to actually spend on taking down that auto turret. When you place down your auto turret, the auto turret has a 360 degrees firing capability but it will only detect the enemies in the 180 degrees radius in front of it. So when placing your turret down, there will be an arrow showing which way it is facing. If you have placed the turret the wrong way, there is another option, which is the rotate option in the menu of the turret, and this will make the turret switch sides. So if you have placed the turret the wrong way, it will switch around to the correct position. But it's 180 degrees radius in front of it, does not account for if someone comes up behind the turret and hits it or attacks it. 
Then the turret will turn around and attack that person with its 360 degrees radius. And remember, if you plan on having an auto turret out, somewhere where it's going to constantly keep shooting people, the auto turret will burn through its ammo really quickly. You will be able to load the turret up with hundreds of bullets and it may burn through those 100 bullets in a matter of seconds. And just an additional note, if you're still playing with the blueprints in Rust, this auto turret will require to have a blueprint library. You can go back to my blueprint video which will talk about blueprints there, but blueprints are now outdated with the new XP system. So if you're looking for how to get XP, you can go to my new XP video. Anyway guys, this is pretty much it for the auto turret tutorial and thank you so much for watching this video.